Jack, the game, of, of course, it's, it's always going to change. I mean, the game is going to evolve as long as it's around. And, and you look at the way the Royals go about things now, and then other teams are starting to do that, that, oh, okay, for a while we were at the this is what a quality start is. Now it's, hey, just hand the ball off to the bullpen. I don't know if it's good or bad, but what do you think about the way that's changed and, and the way they use those bullpens now? Well, I think it has a lot to do with the guys in the Royals bullpen. I mean, if it wasn't for Herrera and Davis and Holland, you know, to start that whole trend, I, I don't think it would have evolved this way. But when you've got three horses out there that have been lights out day in and day out, Ned Yost and managers like him down the road have got a lot more confidence in handing it to the bullpen late in the game. See, I always felt a quality start is seven innings, two earned runs or less. But in today's game, it's six, three, three earned runs or less. And... I know when I first came up, uh, you know, Calvin Griffith was our owner. I can't imagine going in. We didn't have agents back then and actually saying to Calvin Griffith, you know, I started 30 games and I had 20 <laughs> quality starts. He says, yeah, you're going to have... You're going to have 20 quality starts in AAA, too, with a 4.5 ERA. But, like Jack said, it comes down to how strong your bullpen is, and you guys have you guys got a great bullpen. You guys both were fortunate enough to pitch in the World Series and, and uh, also, you know, some pitching some great games, but also go up against the Royals and see a guy like, like a Paul Splitoff on the other side. And I, I was mentioning to you guys that, you know, th this is a day that we, we think we think about him every day, but we think about him he passed five years ago today. Just from each of you, what do you remember, whether it be as a competitor or broadcaster, what, what's one thing that stands out? Well, Paul, you know, was a guy that, you know, I faced many times as my mound opponent with the Royals. Uh, he, he was a battler. He had a, a left-hander. He had a very good hook. He come right at you, and in in the broadcast booth, of course, uh, he and I got to, to talk a lot, and uh, just a nice guy. I miss his smile. Yeah. How about you, Jack? Same thing. You know, I remember Splitty on the mound uh, battling. He's he's one of those guys that you had. I felt like. If you beat Paul Splitter from the Kansas City Royals, you beat a really good Major League Baseball team. He, there was no mediocrity there. He was on the upper level.